I want you to come now. Bro, earlier, earlier a girl hit on me. Did you hit her back? Kill her. She's an agent of the government. <laughs> Did her. you hit you her, her back? back. <laughs> Did you hit her back? <laughs> I love you, Jacob. Oh, hold on. Whoa. Hey. Jacob's been hit on. I'm up front. Dang it does, sir. It seems apparently. like you have a slight intrusion. Who? What, in you YouTube is a fair, but that's public. Where where do I have an intrusion? Not really, kind of close. Oh, oh yeah, no, someone's in. The, who is that? Malachi, get out. That's New where? Newfoundland. What? Get out of get out of Newfoundland. Newfoundland? Yeah, it's get. A it's a blue. You're like a little penis, fucking disease, like, aren't you, you little communist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> fucking <laughs> everywhere. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, get out, get out. I'm everywhere. Get out, or I'm invading. Nowhere. Damn. You're gonna invade? Yeah, I'm going to invade if you don't get out. Okay. Okay. God damn! Everyone <laughs> fucking, fucking just said okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have accepted ter the terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> Could say no. Is that men gave as you're literally fucking another dude? Think about it. Not if it's how if you. <laughs> Not if it's out of necessity. Like if Yeah, necessity. Like if you're yeah, yeah. toy box. Like if you were gonna fucking rip apart the universe if you No, and, like yeah, I'm saying like, like if like you're like it's an apocalypse. If I was offered twenty and, bucks, yes. Well, no, well, listen, listen, how is if it it's an apocalypse, in the apocalypse. Right? Like there isn't anyone else like anyone else around. Yeah, like, who else? Who else uh, uh yeah, but Yeah, like, you gotta repopulate. It's not, not bad. Not. Just <laughs> what do you mean, not that? <laughs> exactly that, Dustin. <laughs> well, Dustin's Dustin missing the big picture. Repopulate. Dustin's missing the big picture here. <laughs> Kurt, why are you coming to Dustin's rescue? I, in what piece? I'm not gonna do his rescue. I'm expanding through the islands because look at my fucking troop count! There's nowhere for me to go! Kyle, 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 Kyle. Small troop gang. Don't let him, don't, don't betray me, Kyle. Kyle, don't, listen to me. Don't, don't. I can let you live if you just no. pull all your troops out of Africa, where you're at, and go down to the how, bottom. How am I going to expand them? Go to the bottom Kyle! of Africa. That's where. Why can't you do this to me? That's where. You know how much. Uh, it's just a good place. <laughs> that's where Jacob's at. Kyle, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. No, no, no. I have to. I'm Listen, like it, man. I'm I like under I, I understand that's where Jacob's at, but I gave Jacob an option to also live, but he didn't take it. Jacob, don't worry. To he live. He big. He's no, all talk. To He's help all you. talk. Please. Please, he, he's talking shit to everybody here. <laughs> why is nobody why, fighting? Why that? is it? Why don't we all unite against him? Like everyone to start pushing into his European plate. Like he's literally trying to tributize everyone on the game, and no yeah, one's doing anything about it. What happens when he takes me. America? I'm. That's why you guys need to flank him. I'm the last bastion of defense for freedom right now. Yeah, but what happens when you have power? Exactly. I'm not, I promise. I promise. This is my election speech. I will <laughs> to I I I'm a, okay. If he's defeated, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna take all my territories back. Probably gonna take Mexico. I'm gonna go up to Greenland. I'm gonna take the UK and a bit of Europe. That's all I want, man. I'm a simple type of man. Jesus Christ, so, you're selling it. Please, please. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> I know. I'm formally asking everyone on this game to openly attack Malachi's military. Yep, that's has to get off. <laughs> no. Do you? No, I'm just saying, if he is literally threatening and trying to tributize everyone here. Yeah, are you guys gonna take that? We're not going to take it. No. <laughs> Jacob's like, bro. <laughs> Jacob's you're like, over, you're over here talking about how Malachi's been threatening people, and I'm just sitting here like I didn't tell Jacob try the screen yeah. so he can save you. <laughs> Shut up. 
Why can't we? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, say can you see? <laughs> he's going crazy, guys. Boys, he's going crazy. He's lost. <laughs> Bro, you took the poem with seed? Yes. It's a catch his diplo. Hey Malachi, hold this hold this diplomacy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> hold this diplomacy. <laughs> hold this diplomacy real quick. Does anyone else have any diplomacy cards? <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> okay, bet. Hold this diplomacy, cuz. <laughs> Hold this diplomacy. How the diplomacy taste? How the diplomacy taste? That, by the way, Dustin, I figured I'd tell you, diplomacy activates next turn. How the diplomacy- I don't care how that diplomacy tastes. Loser. 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 You better be prepared for whatever amount of damage he can deal now. How does- how does diplomacy taste? It's pretty good, man. That should taste immaculate. I already know it tastes immaculate. Yeah, no, we're 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 friends. They're civilized, man. <laughs> Scary. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it, retard? Well, well, what are you gonna do? You gonna piss? I was gonna do anything. You're gonna come. Cut the fuck you off. Why do you want so much? <laughs> Piss, maybe, maybe come. <laughs> Play a little score. <laughs> <laughs> the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> the Brotherhood of Steel, commonly abbreviated to BOS, is a post war techno religious military order with chapters operating all across the U.S. territory of the United States. Founded by rogue U.S. Army Captain Roger Maxson shortly after the Great War, the Brotherhood's core purpose is to preserve advanced technology and regulate its usage. Through the small and <coughs> relatively isolationist... What the fuck is this supposed to okay. The Brotherhood has proved to be one of the most important organizations in the history of the Wasteland, though they're... Exact levels of power and influence have varied over time and by chapter. The Brotherhood has been featured in every game in the Fallout series in one form or another. This article focuses exclusively on an overview of the Brotherhood as it appears throughout the series. For information on specific Brotherhood chapters, see Brotherhood Chapters, Wikipedia. <clears throat> Background the Mariposa Rebellion, in the year 2076, the NBC Division of West Tech achieved breakthrough results in the Pan-Immunity Virus Project. <clears throat> the United States Defense Department, fearing internal espionage, moved the military team under the command of Colonel Robert Spindell, and Captain Roger Maxson onto the site and overs oversee the project, dubbed the FEV Force Evolutionary Virus Project, on January 7, 2077, all FEV research was moved to the newly constructed Mariposa Research Base to commence testing of the virus on human subjects, the security team was transferred to a newly constructed base as well to provide protection for the research going on within the facility. The situation unraveled shortly before October 10, 2077. The soldiers stationed at Mariposa Military Base <clears throat> discovered the fact that scientists under their care 
were performing experiments with the forced evolutionary virus on military prisoners. The revolution prompted a nervous fr breakdown in Colonel Spindel, who locked himself in the office of uh, Captain Maxims. Wait, yeah, was the only who locked himself in his office. Captain Maxim was the only officer left to handle the deteriorating situation. Soldiers were screaming for blood, and the whole situation was at risk of devolving into a bloodbath. On October, October 12th, when Maxon had to step in to prevent one of his subordinates from killing a, killing a member of the science team, he ordered interrogations of the science team under his authority as acting commander. He hoped to prevent a full mutiny by offering his troops a semblance of justice. <clears throat> The first scientist was brought before Maxon a day later on October 13th. Chief Research Robert Anderson, Chief Researcher Robert Anderson, explained that human experimentation at the facility was sanctioned by the U.S. government. He outlined the program to the captain, emphasizing the fact that it was a gov that the government ordered. When Maxon refused to bl believe him. The scientist lost his nerve and started screaming about how he was just following orders <clears throat> and that he was a military man just like Max. The captain shot him in response. He rationalized it as trying to prevent a full-scale military mutiny, but he didn't even believe it. The killing of Robert Anderson effectively established Maxon as leader of the rebellion. His position <clears throat> was further reinforced. Just two days later, on October 15th, when he attempted to speak to Colonel Spindle through the door of his office, it soon became clear that the colonel lost touch with reality, so Maxon and several other his men broke down the door just in time to hear the colonel apologize and shoot himself. Sub subsequent scientist interrogations in and inevitably ended in his executions. Ern Shellman held out the longest by October 18th, finally convincing the captain that the experiments were ordered by the government with her detailed account. On October 20th, 70, 2077, Captain Maxon declared his unit in full succession from the United States over the radio, attempting to force the government's response to the situation at Mariposa. No response came. A day later, he ordered his families of, so of his soldiers under his command to take shelter within the facility. <clears throat> On October 23, 2077, the Great War struck as Maxon was halfway through crying the story from head researcher Leon Van Felden. The facility lost contact with the outside as nuclear weapons started to drop. Spared the nuclear devastation, Mariposa protected the inhabitants from the nuclear fallout flooding into the rest of the wasteland. Fe fearing that China would soon make up for the oversight, on October 24th, Maxon ordered his soldiers and families to prepare to vacate the base the next day. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> On October 25th, <laughs> Sergeant Plantner <laughs> volunteered t to take atmosphere readings outside the base, reporting no significant amount of radiation in the atmosphere. Final preparations for the exodus were undertaken. On <laughs> October 26th, uh, in this recording, I have about six minutes, give or take, of of my voice is, is recording. It currently kind of burns to speak, and I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm going to keep pressing on with it. And I, right now, I'm actually padding out the time, so I'm going to keep extending this sentence as long as I can. Okay. <clears throat> now I will be recommencing with the wiki. Reporting no significant amount of radiation in the atmosphere, final preparations for the exodus were undertaken on October 26th. 
Max and o ordered the remnants of the scientists to be buried in the waste outside of the base. A day later, on October 27, 2077, former U.S. servicemen and their families left the base. Under the lead of Captain Roger Maxson, heading for the Lost Hills government bunker in the south. In, no in November, a few weeks later, the refugees arrived at the bunker. People suffered casualties along the way, as while soldiers were protected by T-51 power armor developed by West Tech. Their family, nigger, families had no armor to speak of. Marauders that attacked the caravan quickly learned to target the unprotected civilians, though the, attacker, the attackers paid with two lives for every one they took. Many were lost, including Roger Maxson's wife, but not his teenage son. Several soldiers broke off during the exorcist as well. Led by Sergeant Dennis Allen, ignoring warnings from Captain Roger Maxson and defying the group's will, uh, they did something. I, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really feel like reading, so I'm going to make up my own little thing here. Actually, probably not. I'm just going to go back to reading. I'm still padding for time, really. So. The. 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 the no, 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 stop, 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 hello, 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 hi, 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 I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Now, 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 no, 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 no. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. I hate Jacob, 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 I hate Jacob. Because, 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 because I'm doing voice AI recording. <laughs>